On yesterday's MiG-21 incident, a former commander of the Indian Air Force has said on the basis of anonymity, that the crashed MiG-21 aircraft might be of any variant, but the fact is that it is a MiG-21, and even Russia took a MiG-21 from India, and have displayed it in a museum. India has lost around 200 pilots to the MiG-21, and it is high time that the MiG-21 is finally replaced, not just because of safety issues but because the Air Force needs more modern fighter jets for the two-front scenario. The Indian Army will procure 125 light bulletproof vehicles from Mohindra Defence System Limited, for which the Indian Army has issued a request for proposal under single tender inquiry. Mohindra Defence had first unveiled the new light bulletproof vehicle at the Defence Expo 2018, that has a crew of two, with additional space in the rear for four more personnel, and the vehicle can be easily reconfigured for different mission due to the modular interior layout. Mohindra Defence Systems has already been awarded a $146 million contract by the Indian Ministry of Defence in March 2021, to deliver 1,300 light specialist vehicles to the Indian Army, that will be inducted over the next four years. The Indian Army has selected an Indian private sector company to design and develop a prototype of a new AV for high-altitude area operation, for which a formal contract with the selected Indian company will be announced at the Defence Expo 2022. The Army wants the new multi-mission tactical unmanned aerial system to have high-quality real-time intelligence gathering and transmission capabilities, electro-optical and synthetic aperture radar, along with communications intelligence and electronic support measures. It will have a maximum takeoff weight of 600 kg, and can reach an altitude over 30,000 feet, and will have an endurance of more than 24 hours. Pakistan Air Force has started evaluating the VBAT-128 unmanned aerial system under the no-cost no-obligation clause, which means that Pakistan Air Force can use the product for a certain period of time at no cost. The VBAT-128 vertical takeoff and landing drone is manufactured by a US-based company Martin UAV, that has a payload capacity of 12 kg and an endurance of 11 hours. Chinese media has reported that China's state shipbuilding corporation has developed a new prototype of Stirling engine that ran at a rated power of 320 kilowatts with a power conversion efficiency of 40 percent, and the report also stated that the new Stirling engine could be used with a sodium-cooled fast reactor, and it can also be used on Chinese Navy submarines. The Stirling engine is a closed cycle engine, in which the propellant is not ejected out, but is continuously circulated, and it lacks exhaust and have less vibration, which makes them inherently quieter. China has launched two Type 54 frigates yesterday, one for the Chinese Navy, and the other is the fourth and final Type 54A frigate for Pakistan Navy. China has also delivered a Ming-class submarine to Myanmar yesterday on which a former chief of the Indian Navy has said, that China is supplying conventional submarines to Pakistan, Bangladesh, Thailand and Myanmar, and this will ensure Chinese influence in these countries beyond 2050, as submarines are maintenance-intensive platforms which need dedicated facilities. Days after the government announced a mega incentive package to bring in semiconductor investments into the country, the Vedanta Group has said that it will invest 60,000 crore rupees to create a sophisticated chip and glass manufacturing ecosystem in the country over the next three years, and the group is currently finalizing technology and joint ventures with top fabrication makers across the world. Oh, my God.